Hi and welcome to Fan Talk. I'm Simon. I'm David. Today we're going to check out the trailer for Zombieland. Which I'm actually, double yeah, double tap. I'm really <laughs> excited about it. Let's just jump straight on in and we'll just talk uh, as we go and uh, go over the details of uh, the upcoming release. It's time to nut up or shut up. What do you <laughs> Is that a reference to uh, Gladiator? Hand in the wheat. You got her back for this after winning an Academy Award. Why wouldn't you want her to do this? I'm glad she's not taking herself too seriously after that. Hey, possum <laughs> Sorry, just you in that chair. I think it would have made a damn fine president. <laughs> you would have brought a real dignity to the office. You're welcome, America. <laughs> <laughs> Has he ever played president? More than just surviving. So. We were a family. Dysfunctional, sure. But what family isn't? Merry Christmas! What would you like, little girl? I'd really like for you to stop calling me little girl. Do you know what I would like? I don't give a shit what you like. <laughs> It felt so good to be on the move again. Whoa! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Hi, I'm Columbus. Madison. This is Tallahassee. Hey, Paul Blart. Is this your dad? Oh, whoopsie. I forgot the seatbelt rule. Oh, so she knows the rules? I told her just a few of them. 73, and are there more? You're cute. I like it. <laughs> my sister is gone. She picked up a boy. He's from Berkeley. Berkeley. You don't have weed, do you? Do I look like the type of person that would have weed? I'm sorry. Boom! <laughs> Duh! Hippies, I just want to beat the shit out of them. We're gonna go get her. We ride the dog. Oh, uh, yes. Talking. You first. Oh, my name's Tallahassee. <laughs> Double time. Yeah! I love it. <laughs> That's my ride! Oh, my apologies, little Elvis! Okay, is it me, or does, does he kind of remind you of... I don't, I don't like you. At all. all. <laughs> you double parked. Or more perpendicular parked. Hope we don't get a ticket. What is going on here? What? Hello, everyone. Am I hallucinating? Yes. That should be fun. As long as it's yes. not a trailer that just showed everything, that should be fun. <laughs> well, I mean, the first zombie movie, uh, or zombie land movie, was great. I, yeah. I mean, uh, it came out October 11th, exactly 10 years ago. So when that releases October 11th, it's actually going to be the 10 year anniversary of Zombie Land's release. Yeah. So uh, that's kind of cool. And from what I understand, the movie actually takes place 10 years later. Okay. So it kind of is going to be playing off of that mode and uh, I mean I was a huge fan when this came out I think it was kind of at the pinnacle of whenever the zombie, the zombie fad yeah. was really kicking off well this and Shaun of the Dead are the two ones that just made fun of the genre yeah and I mean it's just a, you you can tell from the preview I mean they're just having fun with it they're just having great. fun with it and it's a lot of that same humor and those actors I think they really played well with each other, yeah, and they, the yeah. script worked well with them, and I'm glad to see that they all the same actors are back. And that yeah, that's the kind of role like, I really like Woody Harrelson in, you know, that kind of just, you know, just feels like it's just him being him. Yeah. Kind of like, like Kingpin is like the same Yeah, kind of like where he's just, you know, funny, but he's witty, and he's kind, kind of a prick, but yeah. like, but in a fun way, yeah. right? <laughs> Oh, we're not going to see that as him as Carnage. Yeah, right. Uh, and also, we didn't see it in the um, uh, the Hunger Game movies. Yeah, but I mean, like uh, Woody's <laughs> had a fantastic career, yeah. and uh, another actor I really admire. I love his body of work. So, uh, remember him all the way back to Cheers. <laughs> all the way back to Cheers. Sean's That's major. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one coming out. Uh, another thing I was thinking of the other day, thinking about zombie movies, and that. With the exception of this and a couple here and there, that seems to, and you know, the uh, Walking Dead, some of that, that seems to have kind of died off a bit. We've gotten over, you know, we're 
a long time past the you know 28 days and weeks later and the world war z and all that uh it seems like the biggest part of the fad is over now we're just kind of back in the you know one's coming out every once in a while so people are still enjoying it we're also past the uh you know pride and prejudice and zombies and abraham lincoln well yeah for a while for a while you put a zombie anywhere and it was just money and i know that has to make some of the people like just pull pull their hair out from the beginning of the, the genre you know because it was so hard like the guys for this film zombie land was in the works for forever they were trying to originally i believe it was pitched for a tv series and nobody would touch it they're just like no you know yeah. that, that will never that nobody's gonna tune in every week to watch a, a, a show about zombies <laughs> right yeah and, and they were horribly wrong obviously and uh the genre really exploded and took off and a lot of these movies were all you know in that time period there's pretty much Resident Evil series. Yeah, you, they're you, still making you, those. Yeah, you couldn't get away from it. And you're right; it's really kind of died down. But uh, there's still a lot of demand for those kind of films. And you know what I was thinking though? The uh, one of the reasons why zombies works is the same reason why Nazis worked. No one cares. <laughs> well, they're bad. Yeah, they're, it's easy. Just it's hard to get, bring back Nazis now unless you're doing a period piece or. Yeah. You know, do neo Nazis, which is a different kind of thing, but you can't do Nazis as easily as you used to. Yeah. It's because much, much time has passed. Zombies, they're, they're eternal. Literally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, the thing is, is they are. They're just. Uh, you, you don't get in trouble for shooting them. You don't feel bad for shooting them because they need to be shot. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, and so you can do anything one with the zombies. Yeah, and you can do a real comical piece like this, and it's also easy to pull that emotion out, like in Instance of the Walking Dead, you know, where you see the relationships people have, and then when somebody becomes a zombie, it's that heartbreak, and, you know. Uh, but when it's hordes of just mindless, you know, zombies, yeah, it doesn't matter. And it's also one of those deals, too, that it kind of expresses that whole idea of, in my opinion, kind of what makes the world a scary place sometimes in the aspect of you can go and be in a bad situation where there's one person there and it's it's not too bad but like in a case of like a riot or something where one like after a sporting event even or something crazy you have one person and two and then three and next thing you know there's a hundred people that's scary yeah. and the same thing with the zombies it's you know one on one it's not a terrifying movie monster it's like I can run faster than it I can this that and the other but when all of a sudden there's a thousand of them now you're and those reasoning yeah there's now you're in some trouble so yeah Okay, well, I'm looking forward to that coming out. He said it's coming out in October, right? October t- 11th. October 11th is the release date. Hollywood is actually releasing a horror movie. I know horror comedy, but uh, that zombie-themed uh, movie in the right month. That's right, yeah. Uh, so there's actually a lot of good stuff that's going to be coming out in October. It's, I think it's going to be a fun season. So right. we'll talk more about that when it's time. But for now, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in to Fan Talk. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time. <laughs>